In this video, I'll be walking you through how to install DDWRT onto a Linksys E4200 consumer router. Some of the benefits of installing custom firmware are increased wireless range by boosting the output signal, increasing router performance by overclocking the CPU, being able to use advanced network traffic management, and allowing access to devices from a remote location. You'll need a desktop or laptop computer with an Ethernet port, a Linksys E4200 router, spare Ethernet cable and a connection to the internet in order to download the firmware. Firstly, we'll need to download the firmware. Open a new web browser window and search for DDWRT. The website link is also in the description below. Next click the router database button at the top of the page. In the search box, enter E4200 and wait for the results only one entry should appear. Click it, then download the file marked web flash image. Connect one end of the ethernet cable into port 1 on the back of the router, then the other end into your laptop or desktop computer. Open your network settings. We need to take a note of the router's IP address. In this example, the IP address is 192.168.1.1. Open a new tab, then enter the IP address we got from the router. You should be shown a login screen. The default username and password is admin for both. Next, once logged in, navigate to the administration tab, then firmware upgrade. Click Choose File, then select the downloaded BIM file we got from the DDWRT website. Then click Start Upgrade. This can take up to 5 minutes. You should be shown the system reboot screen within 2 minutes. During the system reboot, you should see the system status light on the front pulse and turn off several times. Also, network activity will be shown on the LEDs above each Ethernet port in use. This should take about 2 minutes. You may be redirected to a red web page with error text. Ignore this. Navigate to 192.168.1.1 and instead of the default Linksys page, you'll see a DDWRT configuration page. Next, click the administration tab, then factory defaults. It's best to wipe the router after any firmware upgrade to prevent corruption. We need to perform a hard reset once the factory defaults have been applied. To do this, hold down the reset button at the back of the router using a paper clip or a pencil for 10 seconds. The system status light should pulse. Once the system has rebooted, refresh the configuration page and you should be asked to enter a new username and password and then to confirm the password. Once you have entered these details, click Change Password. Now, whenever you access the system configuration page on the router, you'll be asked for these credentials. Looking through the configuration pages, we can see the new advanced options available to the user. For example, virtual LANs, VLAN tagging and bridge creation. Being able to support multiple SSIDs for broadcast, allowing the user to select the channel number and width, and supporting a wide selection of security and wireless encryption standards. Your router is now correctly running a custom firmware, in this case DDWRT.